we're in a good place right now. It's very exciting. And we are very happy that that's the case because we have to talk about a sensitive topic. The only relevant current event on the baseball news cycle is Cleveland changing its baseball team name. We moved away from Chief Wahoo. We ushered in new logos and everything like that. This, the, the, it's, it's time, though, right? The, the, the powers that be have decided that the Cleveland Indians are no longer going to be allowed to be called the Cleveland Indians. So they're making a change, and we are watching this go down live. And it's, it's actually really exciting. There's a lot of opinion about this. A lot of people in our private Facebook group on, on uh, Facebook, <laughs> the 9 Plus Us VIP group, is, uh, they're kind of up in arms about this. we got a lot of people on both sides of the ball here, a lot of people right down in the middle. And Brad, let's just ask, how do you feel about the name change? I know you've said it before, but why don't you remind us? So as far as the name change goes, I feel like it's overdue, and it's specifically just because of the history between the white colonists and Native Americans. That is really the only thing, that if there had been a better history, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. But given how things have gone, it yeah, it, it should probably be changed, and I'm okay with it. And I, I like name changes, to be honest with you. I'm excited about it. I'm really excited. Um, I mean, when the Washington Bullets changed from the Bullets to the Wizards, I was like, okay, that's a little bit of a weird name for a basketball team. But at the same time, it was fun and exciting to see the name change and see where they were going to go with the logo, the colors, everything. Because we've talked before how we're huge nerds about that stuff. Yeah. Right? Big Absolutely. Fatty fat nerds. nerds. Yeah. Yeah, yeah for so. sure. Yeah. That's a good point. I hadn't, I actually have been so caught up in the controversy itself and all of the narrative surrounding it that I haven't really given much time to to settle into the excitement of what is coming, right? The newness mm-hmm. of it is still not there for me. It's not real yet. Um, but but I really like what you said. I think that we should we should spend some time thinking about that. But before we do, I'm going to drag us right back down into the weeds. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I I think I should I should voice my opinion very clearly. And if for no other reason than to give rise to what I think is a lot of people's opinion is that I don't care really one way or another. I Do mm-hmm. I acknowledge the difficulty? Sure, absolutely. Do I acknowledge that change is hard for people? Yes, of course I do. Mm-hmm. Um, is it? But it's not my history. So, I, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not allowed to be upset about the name change i'm not i i I feel you know what i mean like i don't i don't really feel like i have i should have an opinion one way or another if Mm -hmm. if you're deeply offended by this then it should change Mm -hmm. yeah you know what i mean that's that's how i feel it's not for me to make this decision well and and i've said i've said before too that it could be a whole lot worse it could be what the washington football team just left right like you could be using a legitimate racial slur as your team name which is obviously not good um but you know, instead they are using the proper term for Native American because you've got the, the American Indian cultural centers across the country. Right? You and yeah, I had it's not a you and I had yeah. a, a journal yeah, we had a journalism professor who said, as long as that's the title of the cultural centers, I will continue to address Native Americans as Indians, which you know, I feel like that's Just valid. Perfectly reasonable. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so like it, I said, it, it could be it, lo- oh, it could yeah. be a lot worse, but I feel like um, but given the history, yeah, it not a bad idea to change it. Yeah, no. Okay, so before we move on to the progressive side of this argument, let's talk about what is some of the points along this narrative line. Mm-hmm. Um, Brett Moore from our uh, Facebook group, he's, he really likes this. He's, he's just excited that they're moving away from something racist, which I think a lot of people agree with. A mm-hmm. lot of people feel like this is racist. There, there are pejorative sort of foundation there's a pejorative foundation to this Mm -hmm. and he's excited that they're about to move away but also he said bonus point columbus has the blue jacket so there's already a track record for blue teams in in the state so right yeah and that 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 comes from yeah and that actually comes from a post where somebody suggested um change the name to the blue Sox because the Indians this week, they said, we're going to change the name, but it's not going to happen this year. For a few days there, it looked like 
the name change was name change was going to happen this year. This was going to be it. It was going to be the end of it. Um, yeah. But they specifically said the name change will not happen in 21 or 2021. It won't happen until 2022. And I think they're just doing that to give them time to actually really think about what they want to name this team. Because, I mean, they've been the Indians for well over 100 years. Yeah. Right? They were the Spiders for like 10 years maybe. Ten, it was like, yeah, it was like 10 years. Yeah, so so this is a team name that they want to last, and I understand it because the team that the Washington football team had, and the reason I say that is because I think it's so funny that that's they're just the Washington football team, like that's so funny. Right now they are. <laughs> yeah, I I don't want Cleveland to be the Cleveland baseball team. I'm gl- I am glad they're sticking with the team name for one more year, so they actually have time to go through the process, vet some names, some team names, and also maybe apply for some trademarks because that's the problem they had in Washington was everything they wanted to do. All the yeah. trademarks were bought up by some guy in D.C. <laughs> well, so, man, that's savage. So, <laughs> it is. It really is. So he's I think they're going to go through and buy up some intellectual property. <laughs> yeah, so. he's going to buy up some. They're going to buy up some trademarks. Maybe sell just like one last hurrah on on merch, and yeah. uh, go from there. But yeah. Well, the no. so the Blue Sox, yeah. to your point, Brandon New posted in the group that they're talking about calling them the Blue Sox. And these are the bullet points that were listed. Cleveland is a blue-collar town. That's one of the things, and, it, and that's mm-hmm. true. But then you've got the Red Sox, the White Sox, and the Blue Sox. And they're saying, Brandon is suggesting in this post that it, it c- completes this sort of trifecta. It rounds things out. It's nice. Threes are great. And now we get the red, white, and blue Americana thing. That's kind of mm-hmm. nice too. I, that makes sense to me. Um, yeah. I mean, think of the like, think of the Fourth of July branding you could do with that. Oh yeah, you know seriously, like, yeah. That would I think that would be good for Major League Baseball. To answer the question, I know you were asking next. What do you think of that? Um, I like it. I think it's good. I think it would be cool to have a third Sox in the big yeah. leagues. And like you said, you have got the Blue Jackets in Columbus. That yep. why not stick with the blue theme in? Ohio, uh, even though mm-hmm. you've already got red with the Reds, and then the Indians are red, and then the Ohio State Buckeyes are red. I don't know. It might be a little bit counterculture to be blue, but nothing wrong with that, I feel like. Because I, I do think they're going to end up having to change more than just the name with this. Oh, yeah. Because like, go, going back to the Wizards, they went from red, white, and blue, or, yeah, I think they're red, white, and blue, to like gold and black, yeah. But they, weren't they you royal know? blue and gold for the first little bit? I think I think it was like I think it was like yeah, royal blue, gold and black. I think were their three Something colors because like they had royal yeah. blue numbers when Jordan was on the team. But yeah, but yeah. So I mean, they could just completely go overhaul everything and and change it all. You know, go like blue and white or something like that. Huh. Yeah. But all right, let's swing. Keep the colors and. Go blue you as a could, primary instead of red. Sorry, cut you off. Go they ahead. could. No, no, no. They could. You're you're exactly right. But let's swing all the way over. I mean, before we do that, the spiders are really cool. There's a lot you can do with that, which, which is neat. It's and it's also mm-hmm. got that new age edge to it. Like remember mm-hmm. when they did the Diamondbacks and it was like ooh, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's there's something to be said there. But let's swing all the way over to the other side. We've got <laughs> Bill. Bill German in the nine plus S V I P group on Facebook. He said, what's next? Are the atheists going to force the angels to change their name as well? <laughs> so, uh, uh, and uh, again, we're only bringing this up because this is what's happening. This, these are the conversation topics. This is what, mm-hmm. uh, this is, this is representative of the larger argument that's being made. And, and, mm-hmm. It's not a bad point. He's not wrong. Well, you have to under, you have to speak a little bit of Spanish to understand where the angel's name comes from, because and know a little bit about L.A. Because I mean, Los Angeles means the angels. L.A. is known as the city of angels, and that's city where the angels. team name comes from. That's right. It has nothing to do with religion or holiness. Right. It has everything exactly. to do with the city. Like, you know, the unless metro you area go, that they're in. Unless you go all the way back to when it was named, which was a. Wasn't it a convent town? Wasn't it uh, built up around oh, yeah. cathedrals? Yeah, I'm and sure stuff? it was something to do with the, with like this, like the Spanish missionaries and stuff. Just like the Padres. I mean, if sure. you're gonna go that far, if you're gonna if you're gonna want to change the name of the angels, you're gonna want to change the name of the Padres as well, right? Or at least the so, logo, right? The friar. 
Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's where pod race comes from. We're, we're, no, exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, I mean, it, it does kind of open a can of worms if you want to go that direction with it. Mm-hmm. But I don't, I don't know that it will ever necessarily go that far. But it is you know? an interesting thought experiment, right? And that's what I, that's what I think is is important. Is I'm not going to try and draw the line right here and now. I and I don't think uh-huh. anybody really should. I, I'm certainly not qualified to do that. But it is an interesting rabbit hole to go down. Mm-hmm. And and it, it, you you know, Bill's right. This could be a little bit of a slippery slope here, and. It could cha- we could see lots of change in baseball. We're already seeing lots of change in baseball. The, the team name, I feel like, is the least of our problems with changes coming to baseball. So, yeah. Y- anyway, yeah. there's a, there's a commissioner issue that <laughs> needs to be resolved. But <laughs> the we've collective been there, bargaining so. agreement. What about the collective <laughs> bargaining agreement? At the I end know, of 2021, they're gonna fight again, and we might be on strike, and we might not have baseball. And yeah, as you say, there may not be a Cleveland team in 2022 to have a name. Exactly. Well, there'll be a so, team, but they won't be playing. So. Oh, oh, it's so painful. All right. Yeah. It I'm is. sorry. Let's not go down that road. Yeah, but a lot of people, a lot of people on that this opposite sp- side of the spectrum, they think this is ridiculous. Um, they're they're almost offended by the people taking offense. You know what I mean? This is people mm-hmm. are upset about uh, this political correctness that's being pushed. This this uh what you know there's a lot of names for that but um and i i certainly don't want to offend anybody because i again this is not my i I have no dog in this fight but right um anyway yeah it's just interesting that that there's so many strong opinions it is and i i just want to end with this real quick like honestly like you said you don't have a dog in the fight and i don't either and it doesn't affect my daily life so i don't really care that much what the team is called there you go um it's they're not my mariners they're not your yankees and i don't know maybe someday somebody from the south will be offended that your yankees are called the yankees i don't know maybe but even if they do change the name like yeah there's a lot of heritage there that would still be there but the name wouldn't be attached to it anymore but they'd still be the same organization yeah you'd probably be upset for a little while but you get over it we got over the bullets we are going to get over the Washington football team being called the Washington football team. <laughs> and we're all going to get on with our lives and continue to watch sports. Yep. That's and how, that's we, ultimately what's going to happen. It's true. And if we can, if we can take, I think the mound visit example is the perfect example. If we can go from up in arms, pulling our hair out about limiting mound visits to what, when did that hasn't always been that way? Oh yeah. You yeah. mean we were ever worried about that? That's weird. <laughs> you know, then this is yeah. going to be fine. <laughs> you know? Yep, exactly right. It will anyway. be. Anyway, 